can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. The mine car and its contents have a total mass of 6 megagram and has a central gravity, a gravity at G. If the coefficient of static friction between the wheels and the track is mu s equals 0.4 when the wheels are locked, find the normal force acting on the front wheels at B and the rear wheels at A. When the brakes at both A and B are locked, does the car move? So, yeah, this is a relatively simple um, friction problem, right? First, we have to be careful that this is 6 megagrams, so 6 after 6 zeros, and you want it to be in kg for the SI unit of weight, of mass, so we divide by 1,000, so that's uh, 6,000 kilogram, and you times the acceleration due to gravity, this whole thing should um, give you 9.81, it should give you 5,800 Eight five five fifty eight thousand eight hundred and sixty newtons. All right. So now we can't use the sum of the forces in the x direction nor the y direction, right? Because they're two unknowns for each. So we uh, have to use moments. We have to use moments. Um, let's see. We can pick either one. It doesn't really matter. Let's just. Uh, pick some of the moments at A. Sum of the moments at A equals to zero. Well, therefore, it is um, 58,860 newtons uh, times the distance is 0 0.9 meters, right? This is the positive direction. It's going counterclockwise. And then, let's say using this force here, this is also a positive uh, direction, right? It's counterclockwise, so plus 10 kilonewtons uh, times the distance 0 0.9 meters. This is 0 0.9, right? No, this is, uh, wait, 0 0.9 plus, sorry, I was going to say I missed something, 0 point, yeah, meters, because it's from here all the way to the bottom, right? There's another 0 0.5 meters over here. And um, using the let the last force going to the right direction and B, right? So and this is going this direction, which is clockwise, which is negative, right? So let's say minus uh, the normal force at B times the distance, which is uh, 1.5 meters, right? And this whole thing gives you zero. Uh, if you plug everything into your calculator, software at B, normal force at B, uh, it should give you. 42,316 newtons, right? This And then we can use some of the forces at y. Now we can finally use the sum of the forces at y going up as the positive. y equals to zero. Well, in this case, mb already found what that is, is 442,316 newtons uh, minus uh, 58,860 newtons and the weight of the car and plus uh, NA, the normal force at A. This whole thing gives you zero. Plug it into your calculator, solve for NA. NA should give you 16,544 newtons. And here we go. So we underline these two. Oh, oops. Can't draw a straight line here. And the two normal forces. Now we've found two more normal forces. Then we have to find out whether this car will move or not, right? So to determine uh, that situation, the best idea is to uh, compare the friction force, whether if it's uh, compare the friction force with this force over here. So if the friction force is bigger, then that means it's not going to move, right? Because you know, it's, the friction force is stopping, is always going to the opposite direction of where uh, the force is being applied to the subject. So um, let's uh, add them up and times the coefficient of static friction, which is uh, mu over here equals 0 0.4.
right? So NA plus NB, since all they're all the same, plus them together times 0 0.4, which is the um, standard friction, friction? Uh, standard coefficient friction. So yeah, force of uh, friction uh, is equal to uh, fun. Just like, you know, mu and right, fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you put NA and MB times uh, 0 0.4, in the end it should be 23,544 newtons. Now I round it to three significant figures, it should be three, uh, 23 23.5 and uh, let's compare 23.5 this is way bigger than 10 kilonewtons right so in this sense um, this car will definitely does not move right because the friction is way larger than the uh, f force that's being applied to the car so yeah this is the uh, so well let's say car will not And here we go. All right, that's the end of the question. Uh, hopefully it helps. And uh, good luck on your visions. And I will see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.